You'd think with all the money we spend, get a little bit more than that. All right, yes, welcome back guys, Clean Money here. Uh, I do have two of these already for 2021. So technically I, I really didn't need a specific, I didn't need to add another one for 2021. But if I'm gonna be buying gold, if I'm gonna be buying gold like this, I usually try to get the best option available and it's usually the 2021. Now, there is a backstory to this as far as going and buying where I did buy. Uh, normally, I would absolutely shop locally or I would check online to, to get the better price available. The best price available is what we're all after. And uh, that is what I practice, what I preach 99% of the time. This one time I did not do it, but uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll get to that. I did sell something. I, you know, this is not adding another ounce to the stack. This is replacing the ounce that I did sell. A viewer reached out to me, asked to buy one of my gold coins. It was the double dragon. I didn't want to part with it, but also he was wanting to add it to his collection and therefore I, I obliged. So uh, I wanted, at the time that I bought that coin, I wanted gold buffaloes, but the premiums on those were outrageous. So I didn't want to buy them so i went with the gold the, the gold double dragon instead because it just i don't know it just made a little bit more sense to me and it worked out you know for for me and it obviously worked out for him the backstory to this is i did sell that yes and i replaced it now i went to the lcs like i always do i tried to like i said i always try to shop locally first and then i'll peruse the the online sites the problem with ordering online in this instance is is i'll be going on a trip in about a week and a half two weeks so i wasn't sure that the coin was going to arrive in time and i didn't want to pay the credit card price either so i was left you know kind of you know in, in, in a, at an impasse do i wait till i come back I already had the capital ready to go. I didn't want to spend that capital. So I went to the LCS and a whale came in right before me and bought pretty much all the one ounce gold that was there. Uh, it was crazy, but uh, that's what that's what took place. So I was left, you know, with my hands in my pockets. I really didn't want to buy another fractional half ounce eagle or two of them and pay the extra premium because I wanted to replace that nice, beautiful coin with another one, just like this American Gold Buffalo is what I was after. I was convinced on getting that coin. I didn't want to just replace it with another eagle and just regret it later. So I, I remembered my Instagram, uh, my Instagram account, and lo and behold, one of the Instagram sellers that is is very popular and they take great pictures, by the way, uh, is. I'm not going to mention the jeweler's name because, well, I reached out and I asked him, do you mind if I if I recommend you or put you in my video? I didn't get a response back, so I'm not going to list who it is. Um, but they actually had a local shop here and they had gold bullion in stock and they had plenty of it. Now, they did have the usual suspects, but they had what I was looking for. And obviously, I reached out to them. I gave them a call. They said they had plenty in stock. It's the coin I was after. The price was okay. It wasn't great. I ended up paying probably close to 8% on this coin. I didn't want to pay that premium, but like I said, I'm going to be going out of town. And I didn't want to run the risk of this being delivered while I was out of town. Sure, I could have had it delivered to the P.O. box, but I didn't want to leave this much <laughs> inside my P.O. box while I'm out of town. So that was the reasoning for it and, and i wanted to to tell you this story because it gives you options right it gives you more possibilities that you may not think about we all show online dealers here on my channel and other channels and we talk about our local coin stores but uh reach out to your jewelers sometimes you can get 
You can find the bullion that you're looking for and you don't have to wait a week and a half to two weeks. And in this case, I paid $25 more than I would have if I waited two weeks. And, and I'm fine with that. I'm okay with paying that price because number one, I get the bullion that I want. Number two, I get it in my hand as soon as I pay for it. And then I'm out the door and on my way. No time lost, no time uh, waiting for a package, no possibilities of the package getting lost. Uh, I ended up having a package lost over the summer. And ever since then, I, I have been gun shy. So uh, buying like this, if I can get it locally, I'm absolutely going to source it. And I was ab absolutely happy to, to grab this coin. It's what I was after. I wanted to replace it with something that I would keep. Now, like I said, sure, there were plenty of options out there available. You have the 2022 Britannia coming out. Uh, the Maples are soon to follow. And also, you're going to have your Philharmonics coming out. But part of me likes to buy these. And, and finding another resource, another place to absolutely buy the bullion that I'm looking for is, is is what's important to me. Being able to have it in hand sometimes is more important than finding that absolutely best price that, that you're after. But at the end of the day, it's all about getting what you want, when you want it, and as quick as you can get it. And, and that's what uh, convinced me to, to buy this. Simple as that. I'm just giving you my experience. I went in there. Uh, you could pay with card, you could pay with check, and, and you can get a better price, obviously, if you pay with check uh, because the, they have to charge you that 3% or that 4% premium even more whenever you are paying with a card. Now, if I was to go with, say, the Canadian Maple or the Krugerrand, which was also available there at the shop, I would have gotten a better deal. But like I said, I, it's not that they're inferior coins. It's just for me personally, I have a little personal goal that I'm trying to trying to accomplish before the end of the year and if i can get there i'll be ecstatic and i'll start focusing more on next year but check out your jewelers um a lot of people they swear by pawn shops i don't buy at pawn shops i know you can a lot of people they swear by them i i just i don't know i'm leery of pawn shops i feel more comfortable going to a jewelry store and, and checking out their selection that's what they're known for they have your reputation and, and they want to give you excellent service now, as the herd continues to grow, I will <laughs> I will keep you an update on them. I'm not like two is one. I'm going to count this proof buffalo because, well, it's a buffalo. So I like I like the proofs. I'm going to count it. I think it's a great addition to the stack and I'm going to keep going. I am going to be diversifying just a little bit more and I'm going to bring that video to you next. Also, I do have a video coming up this weekend. I hope you guys do stop by and watch that one. I want to say it's going to be released on a Sunday. If you could support the channel, that'd be great. There's going to be some good information in there for you. And also, I'm still working on that day in the life. That's going to be coming up here. Probably sometime next week. I'll start filming that sometime later this week. So stay tuned for that. And also, I don't know, maybe I should do a video about questions and comments that you guys have. I haven't been getting many trolls as of lately outside of the Bitcoin uh, trolls that, <laughs> that usually come on and spam the hell out of me. So if you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will do a dedicated video based off of that. And well... I will respond to your v your comments and, and I'll even give you shout outs on the screen. All right. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. This was my experience as far as shopping at a jewelry store. I was uh, pretty taken aback. I think it went pretty well. Now, I wish that I could have presented you this information as I was going through the process. But like I said, they did not want to uh, they did not acknowledge me back. So therefore, uh, I'll reach out to them again. I will send them this video link and maybe they will let me come in and film and, and possibly do a video in there for you guys to check out. All right. That's going to do it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Keep grinding on your stack.